welcome to this session that we focus on consumers and what we can offer for, to the consumers from what we have done in, uh, in the Easy Fruit project. Yeah? We have four presentations. I'll try to animate, as you say here in French, the session. Um, and uh, we have, as I said, four presentations. I'll start myself with a, uh, with a presentation on the results of consumer tests with new varieties. But then we will we'll continue with uh, a contribution from Lars Dragstedt on uh, what we can claim uh, or what the chain can claim uh, about health uh, and fruit, okay? And then we'll continue with uh, new products that we can offer. Uh, the talk will be given by um, uh, Catherine Renard. And we'll finally finish with uh, Karen Zimmerman about uh, European consumer segmentation of fruit. So without much, without much more to say, I'll start myself with <coughs> the results of um, a trial that we conducted under Is a Fruit. In, um, and uh, we title it as um, um, Choosing the Right Apple and Peach for Each Consumer. And this is a collaborative effort by all these people you see here from uh, two uh, private companies, because remember, it's a fruit, has the contribution of two small, medium enterprises company in this work package, which is uh, CIV from Italy. This is a nursery company in, in, the, in Italy. Nobody from France, and then we have people from the Netherlands, uh, from PPO in the Netherlands, uh, Limeburg in Italy, Bologna in Italy also, Agroscope in Switzerland, uh, York in North Germany, uh, uh, Skirnevich in Poland, and uh, Instituto Experimentale of Fruticultura in Italy also for Lee, and then CTFL here in France, and not, uh, then our team in uh, IRTA in Catalonia, Spain, okay? So uh, what we wanted to do is, as objectives, is was to evaluate how new, better quality fruit quality cultivars could help us to increase fruit consumption because we recognize that there is a new generation of varieties out there uh, that have higher quality than they say the standards. And so we wanted to know uh, if those new varieties could help us to lure the consumers to increase more consumption, to increase the consumption. And then at the same time, we wanted to know um, about what we call the consumer preference maps for fruit. So to know which are the characteristics of fruit that have more interest for the consumers, okay? <clears throat> so how we wanted to achieve these results, we, did it, we decided that we will do that through consumer tests throughout Europe. And uh, part of the results have been already been given by Yves, so I'll go rapidly about that, but uh, the tests were carried out in France, in the Netherlands, in Germany, in Poland, Switzerland, Italy, and Spain. We, the most difficult part was to establish a common methodology among us because everybody of these partners were used to do consumer tests, but everyone used it a different way. The other thing that it was important is that we thought that we should have a lot of consumers involved in the, in the test to have robustness about the results. So we enroll 4,500 consumers for apples and about 500 consumers for peaches. And um, regarding apple, we tested 11 varieties uh, trying, to, and trying to have a diversity of varieties covering the sensory space uh, of apple. And then we also had for peaches and 10 cultivars, new and old. I'll explain which ones, what the criteria was to decide which varieties. And then in two of the varieties, we harvested two different times. So two maturity, sta maturity stages were represented. So now I'm going to talk first about the apple results. And <clears throat> as you said, the methodology uh, that we use, we try to reproduce the chain, you know, how the fruit was flowing through the chain. And we try to reproduce that by, you know, using criteria that uh, a grower will use for harvest. Then we did sort a little bit the fruits. We stored these fruits up to the 15th of January. That was in 2007. We sort again as would, uh, 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 a packing house would do uh, the sorting. And then we simulate the transport under cooling conditions as any other apple in Europe would, would travel across Europe. And then we finally let these apples ripen in, uh, in at room temperature for, we decided, 48 hours. Along this, along, this, along this trip of this apple from the tree to the consumer, we uh, analyzed the quality at different stages, at harvest, after storage, just before point of consumption. And we also had the description of these apples as we, with what we call a trainer panel uh, to um, analyze some sensory characteristics of these apples, okay? And finally, we developed the consumer test uh, between the 24th of January and the 10th of February of 2007. The varieties that we used, that was a big fight, you know, to decide which varieties were included in the test. I, I, 
we didn't throw each other the chairs among us, but, but it was close, okay, because everybody wanted to test more varieties and we only had room for 11. But at the end, we reached the consensus that we would use as a standard, golden, delicious, as the first variety planted in Europe, Europe still, and Jonagol, Jonagol because at that time, it was the second variety. Now it's Royal Gala in Europe, the second variety, but at that time, it was Jonagol still, the second variety in Europe. And then we include Fuji because it represents a point in the sensory space a little bit different, okay? And then this was the fight, what, what varieties, in, new varieties include. We finally reached the consensus to include Pink Lady, Ariane, Wellan, Yunami, Kanzi, Rubens, Goldchief, and Legal. We, the criteria used was that we would use new varieties, but they were already, that were already in some process of being marketed or being introduced into the market, okay? <clears throat> so these some pictures of these varieties. Most of you, you will know them, and um, so I, I, I'll skip Legal. It's a variety from uh, Skirnevice, from a new variety from the breeding program of Skirnevice. And uh, Yunami is from Switzerland, as you must know, and Kanzi from Belgium, breeding programs. Being lady, you know, because already have an impact in the market. Rubens, this variety from, North, from uh, Italy, is being planted in northern, in northern uh, Germany and also in the Netherlands. And Wellen, this variety from the breeding program of the Netherlands. We use uh, the same questionnaire, of course, and the main part of this is this part here. Uh, this is in French. Um, uh, basically, what we ask is the, the acceptance and in a scale from one to nine. That was the main question. Besides that, we also recorded the age, the gender, and how uh, much fruit we're eating or how, much, how many apples we're eating a week. And then we also include um, a question about how much would they increase, cons increase consumption if these varieties were available to them. Okay, that was, we didn't want to have a very big questionnaire because that, as you will see, the, the, the test was carried out in, a, in, a, in malls, so that we, didn't, we didn't want to take a lot of time to these consumers that are always pressed with time, as Ivo was saying this morning. So we wanted to have a very simple questionnaire, although that it was quite complicated at the end. The second part of it, we also ask about what they think about the appearance, about the appearance acceptance in a, in a second separate part. Mm -hmm. This how the samples were prepared, you know, in a randomized and a very stati complicated statistical way to avoid carryover, to avoid uh, influence from one variety to the other. And um, these are some pictures or where, how we test. This is the picture that you saw before. This, all, each one of these stars is one site where we carry out the test. Mm -hmm. So you can see that from Barso to um, no, this should be to be Madrid, but anyway, this. <laughs> but so, uh, you know, from it's a little. Bit, oh yes, yeah. I'm I'm sorry. No, we we didn't go to a boat or a cruise uh, paid with the European money. Okay, I can assure you that. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, okay, so what we got from this, um, what we got from this um, this uh, trial, we got first a map, and this is a map where you don't see north and south, or west and east, but you see two main axes, okay? That's the statistical analysis that would show you. The map where north and south is acidity and firmness, that direction, less acid and less firm, that direction. And the other direction, the east and west, is sweetness. So that, the, f the first result is that when we describe these varieties, we can group all the variables that we measure in two main axes. One is acidity and firmness, and the other one is as sweetness and fruit other, you know, fruity other, okay? And then there is another dimension, which is not shown here, which is um, crispness and juiciness. So that, you would, we could say first that these are the three main fruit characteristics that are uh, best appropriate to describe all these varieties, okay? 